Hello everyone, this is Nevergoin77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Black Mesa. So, last we left off, we were apprehended by the Marines, the ATC boys, and they, instead of killing us, they decided to just throw us in this giant trash compactor thing. We got it. We were very quickly because we were going to die a very painful death otherwise. So, come up here and watch all of that crumble. Yes, that is. Ah, uh, yes, the funny source engine physics at, at its work again. Very nice. So we'll just get out of that, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, junk here. This definitely seems to be the, like, the trash pit that it's going. I kind of like how they added like a little crane to the top, and uh, oh, I guess it just uh, opened up now for whatever reason. With this huge pile of rubble here. So yes, we're back once again, and unfortunately, uh, last time, the Marines, they managed to sneak up on us, and instead of killing us, uh, decided to throw us into here, and, uh, because their original intent was, apparently, was to bring us topside for questioning, going by what they said, as, uh, we were just barely conscious enough to hear them say that. So, it's pretty much what I expected from, from the original game. We gotta make it out of here, and uh, besides the cool new stuff that they added, uh, like the crate here, and a nice blue sky as well, but uh, yeah, now we gotta get out of this mess here, get out of this facility. And also notice that we have been completely uh, relieved of our weapons here. Yep, no, no weapons are in, available to us. They were all taken away. Unfortunately, so we're gonna have to start back from square one here, which is uh, a bit of a pain, but oh well. But hey, at least we can find uh, ah, our trusty crowbar already. Yes. All right. Well, I guess we'll start with that. I think this lever, which will do a thing. They got like these little storage closets, though. There's like a dead head crab zombie. I don't think there's a way to get in there. And uh, what about this fence? Can we go in here? Ah, we can, but it only... It's just for the one little power armor battery. Also noticed our health has gone down quite a bit, so we were a little... Uh, a little beat up from uh, what those marines did to us still. We're still recovering. But uh, now we just gotta find a way out. And, uh, oh! Oh, well, I guess that works. I guess that switch just, uh, opened up what looks like a little, like a giant hatch here, and yeah, I, I took a little bit too much fall damage than I would like, so let's just be a little bit careful to uh, drop it down here, but I like, I kind of like that. I kind of like how they switched it up a bit, and now you have to go through this hole here. Yeah. Yeah, quite the nice, cool little garbage disposal system out here that they got, just leaving all this trash and rubble out here in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of, uh, the desert in New Mexico, or somewhere in New Mexico, allegedly, but, uh, yeah, now we're out here, this area looks a little bit familiar, like from the original game, and, uh, yep, right on cue with the, with the head crabs appearing out of nowhere again, so yeah, we'll take you out. Just make our way over to this fine thing here. Yes, while we avoid some more head crabs. I do like the tel new teleport sound they have going on, but uh, yeah. Now we're just trying to get our bearings again, trying to find our our weapons back as we head into this facility here. Yes, this big old building. Oh, I like how they had the little ladder on the sides. Ah, so that's how you get up here from this way. See if there's any goodies that they may have uh, on the side here. Nope, just the one med kit. Alright, fine by me. Looks like some poor person's leg. Yeah, it's uh, quite the leg here. It's, it's probably one of the uh, leg of one of the scientists, but they were probably, uh, hard to guess, very brutally mauled by a wild animal or an alien or something out here. Because, yeah, it's, just his leg left. <laughs> yeah, not very good. Just hope that the same doesn't happen to us anytime soon. Let's just 
try to get out of this desert. Let's take a look in here. Ah, looks like they did change this area a little bit here as well. Got like a little underwater section. I'm assuming we just turn this valve. And then that will... Ah, yeah, that will drain the water. And then we should be able to open this up. And we can! Ah, very nice. Into the maintenance access tunnel we go. Be sure to turn on our flashlight for this part. Because it is very dark in here. Even though it is nice that they have a little bit of lighting either way. Regardless, even without the flashlight. And I do appreciate that. Yes, very nice. Okay, so in we go here. The residue spot the deep. Oh shit. Hey, security guard, too. Shoot him, shoot him. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's not very good. He seems to have just, uh, for whatever reason, just decided to run the other way instead of shooting these bastards. Well, even me to do the dirty work for myself again, I see. Ah, well, that's fine. Just, uh, oh, sass. <laughs> ah, sucker. He's <laughs> a bit of... That was pretty funny. I didn't know you could do that with the head crabs there. I just juke him and made him go into this pool of toxic waste here. Yes, a fool. Such a silly little fool, these aliens. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, maybe this, uh, maybe this stuff is actually radiation instead of toxic waste, because I'm getting the, the, fuzz, the fuzzy screen of static as well as the Geiger counter acting up. Yeah, I can hear the little blips and blocks now. So we'll go over here to find where I'm trying to look for our security guard friend that just ran off this way. And oh shit. That doesn't look good. Oh god. Ah, he's burning! He's burning! There, oh shit. Alright, let's see if we can uh, try and trick some of these barnacles to having a barrel right here. Yes, eat the barrel, you fool. Just promptly spits it out. Okay, well, what about this? I wonder if we can get them to try and explode these containers that are explosive, but... No, I don't think that's gonna work. Hmm. Okay, we'll just try and distract them again while we pick up this guy's gun. And I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try and use this little propane tank. And then shoot it right when he gets... It's about to bite it here. Oh shit, does this thing even explode at all? I don't think it does actually. Well, that's not very good now, is it? He won't even... Oh! Look at this, he won't even take the... He won't even take the... Um, propane tank, because he knows that it's no good. Ah, I didn't know that uh, barnacles can be smart like that. Yeah, they like after the first couple of times, they're like, nope, they won't do it anymore. That's interesting. Well, you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just gonna have to shoot you and kill you the old-fashioned way. Then. Let me make me use all my bullets. And I did see another. Yeah, I did see another one. Right oh shit! Don't want to blow that up in my face. That would really not be good. But yeah, so far, a cool little, like, quite the nice redesign of this area. Uh, might be able to run past all that fire without getting burned. Let's see here, we can go along the sides. Alright, let's see if this uh, does anything. Nope, can't turn that valve. Oh well, oh well, okay, well, it just, uh, apparently, I guess it did work. It is weird, it didn't let me turn the valve at all, it just uh, did the okay and then that was it. Ah, whatever. Let's just keep on proceeding through this facility. Try not to die, because yeah, I'm a little bit injured still. Still trying to recover from my injuries and whatnot. Uh, yeah, damn, look at all this. Look at all this heavy machinery. A lot of... Uh, Mixers and squishers and crushers and all sorts of cool stuff. Got a to get down there. And this glass looks like the type of glass that cannot be broken. 
by small arms fire. Yeah, no, it's bulletproof glass, no good. Alright, what did you see? Oh, yeah, another one of you. Just gonna make it through these facility very carefully. There's some more bone and skeletal remains of our four more comrades in arms. And some not in arms, but yeah. I wonder what these head crabs are doing. They're going the other way. So you can try to oh no, well, I was gonna I was gonna try and sneak up on them, but I guess not. They're just gonna go to this dead end here. That's some more radiation hazard signs to look out for, but ooh! Yes. Another H E B station. This one looks like it's it's about to die out too. Just barely uh, hanging on the wall on its last leg, so to speak. So, be sure to use, make one last good use out of this, as it's, yep, yeah, pretty much all empty now. Alright, so we're pretty good on our power armor, we just need to find some more health, some more health kits and stuff. And also find a way out of here. Uh, here, nope. Okay, yeah, no, I think we gotta go the other way, through that uh, one thingy. Since there's a lot of locked doors around here, it's uh, pretty clear they don't want people, they don't want just any old person with no security clearance just walking around through here. You even got signs saying that eye protection is required. Well, Gordon here has his glasses. Hopefully that'll suffice for eye protection. Because other than that, I, we're pretty much uh, SOL. So yeah, no goods. So, yep, we gotta go up here, I'd imagine. Somewhere around here on this catwalk. And, ah, I see, into the vents. More vent crawling. Just make our way into here. And watch out, because, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to dodge, gonna have to weave in and out and, and dodge a lot of different hazards coming through this facility here, so we do have to watch out. Not to mention the alien infestation as well. I guess even we go down here and uh, go this way. Yes, the confined space. Permit required. Do not enter. Ah, uh, well, I got my permit right here. Yeah, go this way. Yeah. Oh shit! At least I'm finding more ammo around here, which is good amount of pistol level, but other than that, still don't have much to go by for for weapons. And wow, look at this room. There's, looks like quite the shit show that happened in this room here, with all this broken metal walkways and a bunch of other crap strewn about the place. I wonder if we could open these doors from the other side. Yeah, can we? Nice. Uh, we cannot. Shit. Well, that's no good. It seems for that even going on the other sides of these doorways, you still can't open them. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to find another way through here, and they... And goddamn, the radiation levels in here seems to be so intense that my screen is going very, very staticky and fuzzy. I imagine that really cannot be good for my health in the long run. So we gotta make sure we get to the room as quickly as possible. We'll try to time our jumps with these, these giant mixer thingies. I don't know what to call them. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, just don't, don't fall into these pools of radioactive waste. I can see this one doesn't go all the way in, so... Oh shit! <laughs> it's... Well, I guess I was wrong there. Uh, just as I say that, I just get cr crushed by going up too high. Well, that wasn't very nice. Now was it? What did I even get crushed by? Was it that thing? Well, it's pretty odd, but okay. Yeah, not very good. Okay, so... Yeah, apart from uh, falling in the radioactive waste, let's be sure not to get ourselves crushed by these things as well. I guess they, that's why they call them crushers for a reason. So yeah, that was uh, that was my fault, guys. Let's try to be a little bit more careful here. 
And yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. If you, if you go too high, you get crushed by that. Alright, got it. So try and go on the edge then. Actually, this might work. I'm still get crushed underneath either. Oh, I think they want us to go like this, like, in sort of like a crisscross pattern, it looks like. Wait, how are we gonna get over there then? No, I can't. I don't think we can make that jump from here. We should be able to jump on these pipes from this thing here. We just have to wait for it to climb back up. Come on. Oh. All right. Well, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Just to keep on trying here. Maybe the sooner we make it out of this room, the more chance, higher chances that we don't. Uh, we don't uh, get cancer later on in our lives from all this radiation. So yes, why do you be careful? Go, go quick. There we go. Ah yes. Ah, clear it. Very nice. That's how we do it. All right. What other little bits of parkour do they have for me? Do we? Waiting for me now. Oh shit. More fire hazards. Okay, that's a good start. And I do hear, yep. Yeah. Ah, there you are down there. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look how he's so eager to try and wait for me to come down. Well, joke's on you, buddy. I have a gun. I'm going to shoot this gun. So you are dead. Yes, because that's how guns work. Uh, it wasn't hiding anything. So it's just a. Uh, Watch out for this big old pipe of, of, of scorching hot flames spewing out of it. Just try to jump across like this. Okay, we're good. Alright. And so that area cleared. Time to move on to our next room, which is... Ah, yes, the giant... The giant uh, radioactive waste mixers of doom. Very nice. Okay, before we try and go on those, let's just have a little quick exploration of this area. Try to break these down. And, ah, okay, that's why we could explore from the other side. It was literally barricaded up from from the, this one side here for whatever reason. Ah, yes, okay. Well, that makes it a little bit easier to navigate, at least knowing that not all of these doors around here are completely locked. So yeah, it's good. And hey, another another first aid station for us. Yes, excellent. Ah, finally, I'm full health again. Now I feel as healthier as ever. Once again, very good. All completely rejuvenated up. Let's try and make our way through these uh, giant mixers of doom. I did see, yeah, another one of these bull squids in this room here. This may or may not be a problem to deal with, but uh, we'll see if there's any way we can get in. Yeah, no, that door's locked. I don't see anything worth looting either, so maybe we don't actually go in this room. Ah, fine, we'll just let this bull squid feast on this. On that poor scientist there. If he's not gonna cause me any trouble, then I'm then I won't bother. Okay, now we're gonna make this jump that looks like it's gonna be a bit tricky. We just gotta time it right with the mixer. Get on the next one. Here we go. Jump down! Ooh. Okay, get out of there, get out of there. Holy shit now the the amount of radiation from that was insane. My Geiger counter was going absolutely nuts. Oh god. I really hope I don't come down with the worst case of cancer just uh, shortly after coming out of this facility from all this radiation exposure. It would really not be good. But hopefully our our uh, suit will help nullify that threat. At least a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we're off into this area now with the conveyor belts. Just try and fall on this crate to break our fall. Yep, just like that. Don't take any fall damage. And holy shit, oh my god, look at all the pile of trash that they just dump here. Holy shit, man. 
They just literally all just throw this huge, huge pile of trash here, and then that's it, huh? With no regard for where else to put it and what it, it's gonna, what effect it's gonna have on the environment. Ah, these sick people. What will they learn? Yes, you can't just dump all their garbage here like that. It's pretty sloppy, if you ask me. But oh well, somebody else will will have to scold them on that. Because I'm just trying to make my way out of here. Let's just go on this bigger uh, belt. Looks like it's going up. Up this way. And it should take us to... Um, Oh my god, what is that? Yeah, looks like another another little fun part coming up for us here. With some more stuff to go through. Let's just carefully make our way down by falling onto these pipes to avoid taking as much fall damage as we can. Holy shit. Oh god. Okay, okay. Um, should be safe enough to drop down now. Or none at all. Okay, now this looks like some sort of um, wastewater or sewer treatment area, if I've ever seen one. Fortunately, looks like we're going to have to swim in this, in this gunky-ass water here. But you know, we have to do what we have to do to make our way up. So, here we go. Jumping in now. And, oh god, ugh, there's water. It's so murky and so dirty and disgusting. We have to make our way through, so let's just carefully come through this way. So it's all getting sucked in through here. Okay, yeah, don't want to go through that. That will definitely grind us up and kill us very recently. So let's just get out of this, get out of this shit, dirty ass water. Yeah, oh shit! Alright, so they have like these fire pipes where I forgot about these parts. But I guess that's uh, one of the ways that they try to, one of the steps of trying to treat this water is just uh, putting a bunch of flames onto it. Doesn't really make any sense but if you ask me, but then again, what do I do? Just trying to survive. Uh, okay, this is the other side of the uh, crushers. So be able to safely swim on this side. That looks like it's taking us down. Oh yeah, it's definitely sucking the water down. Alright, where are you taking me? Where are we going? Oh shit. There's pretty fast currents going on here. But I uh, don't really know where this is uh, supposed to go from here exactly. Maybe this way? Around this big old thing? Oh yeah, yeah, around here. Shit, this this current is very strong. It's very very much taking me across here. Okay, this is the part where the, they spew the fire. Drop here for a second. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Okay, we gotta go underneath this thing. Don't touch that. And just keep on swimming through here. Oh shit, we need to resurface pretty quick here. I'm running out of oxygen. Oh shit, where's the surface? Oh my god, where did no where where where? Okay. Alright. We're at this part now, and hey, yes, we found ourselves the Magnum now. This will definitely prove to be very handy, as well as our very nice, uh, helpful supply of Magnum bullets. Very nice. Yeah, look at that. Already found a volunteer to die. He's uh, got the very twitchy leg of death. Very nice. I would say allow me to fix that by shooting that again, but I really don't want to waste my ammo on this thing. My precious Magnum bullets. And found some satchel charges too. Very nice. Okay, we'll just have a quick look around this area here as well. Uh, oh shit. Let's see some more pill squids. I think they saw me too. So let's Watch out for actually let's use our satchel charge on them. If we can. Hey guys, I got a present for you. Ooh! <laughs> yes. There we go. That's how you use a satchel charge. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Made a bit of a mess, but that's okay. 
whatever gets the job done, I suppose. So, uh, okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else down here. Um, maybe something on these little railways, maybe. These little catwalks here. Okay, this looks like the conveyor belt that we do need to go along. So let's just head back into that other room real quick. See what exactly we need to do, because they might have changed it up a bit, which I'd imagine they did. And uh, you know, it would have been cool to have like a little health kit or something in this little corner here. Would have been nice, but oh well, guess not. Uh, oh yeah, unfortunately these two rechargers have long uh, have long died out. I guess we just hit this switch instead. See what we can do from here. Okay, so it's like uh, it's just some more conveyors, conveyor belts there. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like the way we're supposed to go from here. But we got to figure out how to activate these conveyor belts because we got these doors here that are in the way. I'd imagine they open up once we hit a switch somewhere. Just gotta find it wherever it is. Yeah, it's okay. This room somewhere? Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. Easy, easy as pie. Very nice. Okay. So that did that. But, uh... Yeah, we gotta watch out because from what I remember in the original game, there should be crushers in these other okay, bolts. Unless they didn't add them in this version. I don't think they did, actually. I think we should just be safe to to keep on going along here. Yeah, uh, look at these dirty ass conveyor belts, though. You can see it's uh, taking the solid parts of the waste, the waste water here, and just taking it along, I imagine, to get disposed of or something. But yeah, uh, quite, quite the mess here. Very not good. Oh shit, are we gonna die here? God, okay. Well, that thing wasn't spinning, so I'm assuming we're okay. And we are, so far. So we'll just go continue on our little trip here, along with all these little bits and pieces of garbage. Just making a, just making their way along the conveyor belts. Like there's no tomorrow. Now, something tells me we're gonna, probably going to get... Probably going to try and crush us with some heavy machinery. Especially by heeding the warning of these signs. Yeah, that looks like a very painful way to go out. Getting crushed by those gears like that. So let's try not to let that happen to us, shall we? Let's just see what's down here real quick. There's probably nothing, though. Yeah, no, just a bunch of junk. Just a bunch of junk. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so we head through here. Oh shit, here we go. Yeah, here goes here comes the crushers. Okay, now this is gonna be putting our skills to the test here. Gotta watch out for these. These will definitely crush us. We're not fast enough. Oh shit, what did this mean? Whoa, what where did this music come from? What the hell? Alright, well, here we go here goes nothing. Run! Oh shit! Oh, it is so much. Right around the corner to so get crushed by another one. This one. Careful, careful. Oh shit. Oh, ah. Oh. Well, didn't quite make that one quite fast enough. Alright, we'll try this again. Hopefully, our checkpoint is right here, so. We can keep trying and trying until we make it. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, um, we're gonna help try and use these little, uh,. Uh, danger safety yellow light things. I don't know what they're called, but they're gonna try and we're gonna try and use these for reference to the these areas that we're not supposed to go through here. We're gonna have to be a little bit quicker than that. Go, go, go! Oh shit. And yeah, these uh, these little these little things I think are definitely tells us an area that we can't go. Or else we're gonna die a very painful death again. Oh shit. Almost happened again. Let's see here. Okay, kids. Okay, go now. And go again. Alright. Just in time for 
with the, the dramatic music to, to calm down a bit there. Okay, now we got this whole area to worry about. It has some more laser trip mines. You'll be able to trigger them by shooting at them yep, just like that. Oh, well. Looks like we can get in here anyway. So, oh, we can. Okay. It's weird. It wasn't letting us. But, uh, no, okay. But we're good. Uh, oh shit. Okay, well, now we can't go through there. So I guess we'll just head back this way. Back out this way. I think, yeah, this way was the way we're supposed to go. Because, yep, riding along more conveyor belts. Definitely don't want to go in there. Let's just have a look at this area again. Uh, okay, I mean, it looks like... Another big work room. Can't open that. Probably blockaded on the other side again, I'd imagine. And we got some someone's forklift here. Some wooden pallets, some barrels. Very typical workplace stuff. Very nice. But uh, what's over here? Oh shit! Hello there. Another bullshit. Should take care of you by shooting you in the butt two times. Very good. And, uh, yeah, maybe there's some sort of control room that we need to find to get a switch. Probably. Let's just keep on looking around here and, ah, see, what did I say? What did I say? Another one of these doors that have been blockaded from the back. Well, just to take care of that real quick. And I think this is back in the, uh, yeah, back up here again. Alrighty, well... Just find a nice safe spot to end this off because that's pretty much all the time we have for this video. So we're gonna save it right here. Save our game. Over at you. And it should be good. Alright everyone, so thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like the video as well as the other ones I uploaded here, don't forget to drop like, comment, subscribe, I upload videos almost every day, so be sure to hit that bell and get those YouTube notifications. Should I stay tuned for next time? Get to some more. Let's play Black Mesa. So finally, this is Never Going 77. Signing off. And as always, take care, everyone. Goodbye.